Welcome to techiv.com channel, your solution providers. I am Ben and in this video I will be showing you how to make a visual equalizer synced with an audio file in Adobe After Effects. First of all create a new comp, drag your audio file into your project tab and then drag it in your timeline. Create a new solid, go to the effect, generate and generate an audio spectrum. Now first of all you see these two points. This is the start point and this is the end point of our spectrum. Drag these along your screen so that they fit at the sides of your screen. Now see this effects tab. Before we start you need to learn few things. Audio layer. Basically we select the track on which we want the spectrum. So here I want the spectrum on my this track so I have selected it. If I have many other tracks and I want it on a different track I would definitely select that. Going down we see the starting frequency. These are the fre audio frequencies at which the spectrum will start and the frequencies at which it will end. By default these frequencies are the heardable frequencies by humans. These are the frequency bands. Either you can increase it or decrease it. Increasing the frequency band means that you will see more bands on your screen which means that more lines and decreasing it means that you will be going to see less number of bands. Each line is considered as a band. This is the maximum height. This tells that at which maximum height our particular band can touch. So you have to vary it. Other than that there are few important things that is the audio offset. You must keep it to the zero. This means that the audio spectrum would differ from our audio file by which particular number of seconds. This is the thickness of our bands and this is the softness. These are the colors you can change them, you can select any colors you like. Now going down you see the hue interpolation. Hue interpolation means that the mixing of colors. If you vary the angle you will see that the colors are changing. Observe the screen as I am rotating this tile. So as you see that now we have a spectrum of colors in our audio spectrum visual equalizer. In display options we have three kinds of displays. Either digital lines which you are seeing right now or the analog lines which is a bar and it vibrates on the audio frequency or the dots. We can mix all three of them to create great visual effects. This is side options. Side options means that on side A, the waves will be generated in the upward direction. Side B means that they will be generated in downward direction. So let's duplicate these layers and create a beautiful visual equalizer. Select your main solid and press Ctrl plus D. It will duplicate the layer. Now go to the first layer and you can select any one of them according to your choice. Go to the second layer and you can choose like uh, analog lines. Now you'll see that for the bottom side I have chosen an analog line and for the upside I have chosen digital lines. Let's duplicate this layer and here I will choose analog dots and side A and B. And for this layer I am increasing the maximum height which means that the dots will leave these lines and they will go to the greater height. Let's play it and see how it looks like. Test recording for visual equalizer. Test recording for visual equalizer. You can make it look more interesting. Select all three layers, hold shift and select all these three. Right click 
and choose pre-compose click ok now you have all these audio spectrums in your pre-comp press hold the shift and drag it along your screen to the half almost now press ctrl plus d again to make a copy go to transform properties and rotate it at 180 degrees now hold your shift again and drag it back now you will see that we have two different types of audio spectrum which are basically the same but the, in opposite directions so let's replay it and see how it look like test recording for visual equalizer test recording for visual equalizer test recording for visual equalizer test so that's how you create audio spectrums you can create various different effects by changing the hues by changing the colors and by making different layers upon layers and adding different effects thank you for watching this video please click the subscribe button and visit www.techev.com to ask any questions if you have any queries